Hi, out here today to range test the shark bite system. This little thing, well, actually this little thing. So, as you can see behind me, a nice clear path. Um, and we will be seeing how far this goes. So I've got it on my apex here, I've got a GPS on top that will give us the, the distance in the OSD. We'll be running the full power, so that's 500 milliwatts with an antenna sticking out the back, so that's the TBS Triumph Pro, so that's a 1.6 decibel antenna, I think. Got to confirm that. Um, I'll also be doing a test on the iFlight. Can't remember the name of it, but it's an iFly antenna, uh, and that's a three decibel. That's obviously going to stick out a lot further, give us a bit more clear reception. And then I am going to try a really, really big patch antenna with a high gain. So this is about 14 or 15 dB gain uh, that I use for my long range wings. So um, yeah, it'll be really interesting to see how far it goes. Okay, so I've just uh, noticed something really weird. Uh, I get it about get out about 400 meters, 380 meters, and it just seems to just drop satellites on the OSD. So I don't think it's the GPS losing satellites. I really don't, because it seems to do it about the same time. Really, really not sure what's going on. Uh, I'm gonna try and log it on the black box and see if we can go there. Probably should have put a fresh pack in quads down there um it's on the side of the road so i shouldn't be able to miss it let's go and get it Alrighty, here it is so it's not too bad quads still in one piece or fine the batteries little scuff but uh yeah what i get 1.7 k's that's not too bad let's go back and try the next one right. quads back in one piece i've now put the it's actual iFlight albatross i remembered so iFlight albatross uh it is a 3 db gain antenna and we'll see how far we got i mean it's not too bad with the um tbs triumph pro um with stock patches at 500 milliwatt we got what 1.7 k's um I mean, that's pretty good that's pretty good. I mean, this is only 500 milliwatt system, so I've only been uh, a kilometer on 500 milliwatt um, with analog. So, um, yeah, this might be good for like long range sort of uh, deals, you know, like where it's got clear open space. But yeah, um, we'll uh, try this antenna and see how we go. We've got a fresh battery this time at least. Um, but yeah, we shouldn't have any of the dropouts like I had before. So yeah, let's check out this next one.
right, so with that one, uh, the battery <laughs> the battery was trying to die more than the bloody video signal. Um, but yeah, that was what, 2.2K is easy with uh, the iFlight Albatross 3DB gain. Uh, I think I had a little bit of interference along the way purely because I wasn't angled straight. But uh, it seemed to be giving me the best performance um, when I was flying it. So yeah, uh, I guess the next one to try is the... Uh, the big patch, but the thing is I don't think my batteries can handle it to be honest. Uh, I know these are old batteries of mine, but I mean there's a 1500 milliamp uh, 4 cell and I'm going um, 2 K's and back. So that's 4, 4.5 K's round trip It's pretty good. I mean I'm actually surprised at the distance from 500 milliwatt I can go 2.5 K's Maybe this is designed not for races, maybe this is designed for long range. Who knows? Alright, I only got one more battery left because I didn't think um didn't think I need it to be honest. I actually thought it was gonna die pretty quick. So I'm surprised. But the next uh last uh one I'm gonna try is this big triple feed patch array, which I think has around about 14 to 15 DBI. Uh again, I'm really not entirely sure. I've got to double check it. I'll put it on the screen actually. Um so let's just see how far this actually gets me with this and see if it's clearer for longer um, using this. I uh, guess there's only one way to find out, but I mean 2.5k or 2.2k's, I'm sort of rounding up a little bit. 2.2k's uh, is pretty good for a uh, 500 milliwatt digital system, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed, I'm personally impressed, I don't know about you, but yeah, let's try it. So I just came back from that flight, which you probably saw. To be honest, it wasn't much different from just using the stock patch antennas. Uh, so I think this this particular um, patch array is really good for analog, really. It, it honestly didn't seem to uh, give any more distance. Um, it's probably about the same. Um, but yeah, I, at the moment with these testing, uh, I'm purely limited just purely by battery range. Uh, it just can't seem to, um, or not with this quad anyway, can't seem to do the uh, the full distance that I want to do. So, if you guys want me to, uh, I can take the whole system out of my Apex and put it on an iFlight uh, XL7, which is my uh, long range quad with, um, what is it, with my 4000 milliamp Lion pack. So, that should give me more than enough range. Uh, it should definitely give me at least 30 minutes of flight off that pack um, which will, won't be limited now to the the shark bite system which is yeah which seems to be pretty good for distance to be honest what do you guys think uh, put a comment in the bottom uh, like and subscribe if you want to continue for more and um, yeah let me know if you want me to do uh, if you want me to put it on a long long range quad and send it out further so yeah thanks for watching guys god i really hope that recorded <laughs>